So today I wanted to do something a little bit different, if that's cool with you guys. I was looking back at some footage, moving some gameplay here and there within different folders and hard drives, and I started to pick up on some things that I do as second nature as somebody that plays Warzone consistently for way too much time, I'll be honest with you. But it's something that to many might not be second nature or even something you think about at all when going into certain engagements. It's the utilization of many outplay spots, jump spots, or if you want to get really generous with the terminology, some like 300 IQ play stuff. Today, I want to share with you guys some jump spots and locations that you may not know about, but you can apply to your own gameplay and hopefully get some kills here out of it that you otherwise may not have. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Firstly, do you guys want to see more here? And if you do, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and also let me know your thoughts if you guys have anything that you would like to add to this list. We're only going to scratch the surface. I have so many more locations in notes, but you'll see this video gets pretty long by explaining everything so in order to not keep you guys here for hours at a time we'll split this up into a couple of videos but if you guys want to see more drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and that said i guess let's just jump right into it because there's a lot to talk about now if it's cool with you guys i'd like to actually do this in a little bit of a different fashion i'll walk you through it in real time here actually in game so you can see exactly what i mean as i'm explaining it kind of different than recent videos but want to play around some different stuff here in upcoming videos and thought this would be a cool way to present this if you like the format of this feel free to let me know down in the comments down below and if you guys want to see more jump spots like this and more outflank or high iq plays let me know down below and i'd love to make more of this kind of stuff this is some of my favorite content to make so if you guys enjoy it i'll happily deliver more so where i want to start with this here comes down to a lot of these like double story white buildings that you'll see across the map this one is a great example in my opinion because it is one of the ones that has the most flank routes here for it this one in particular by train there's actually three different routes that you can end up taking here that will allow you to end up breaching and clearing this second story because that's oftentimes where a lot of people will camp so if you're familiar with any of these engagements you'll often see people camping like these staircases here watching people coming up you'll see people that are like mounted on these walls here and just making sure that you can't break through the staircase because it's usually one singular choke point or to the not as well versed with movement it's only one choke point but like I said, there's a couple of different ways you can end up breaking this. Of course, you do have that standard risk it all where you just run right up here and maybe pick off one here and then get picked off by this guy over here. But if you want to break it down, you can. Okay, just had to take care of that. Plunder gets a little annoying recording some footage every so often. Now, this first way is one that not many people will expect in terms of just sheer going all out for it. And it's one that was available actually within the original Verdansk as well. But this one in particular, you just jump, cut, shoot, and you're in. So you're just basically jumping into this window here from up top where, again, they're not really focused on that location. In a similar fashion, though, and approach, you can end up getting up on top of the roof and then gaining a couple of different entryways here that you could end up doing that again. You could either jump in through these windows here or, of course, these windows on the side or here as well. You're going to need to actually time this a little, little nicely here. And it's just a soft little touch. You end up going back, dropping down and then picking up. So you got to kind of get ready for that mantle. But of course, that really comes down to if you know which side they're on, it works best. Sometimes you can drop in on this window over here, jump right in on the corner, pick off this guy. That guy mounted may not have the best angle or whatever the case may be. And you can end up picking them off one by one. Another one that I absolutely love on this is this quick little jump up spot that is seemingly harmless. There's no ladder like the other side. So you don't really think about it from a regular player's perspective. But Assuming I don't mess it up there like that one, you end up jumping right on that side window. So it is a little soft touch or something like that, that in the heat of the moment, you might end up messing up here and there. But if you get it right, you can end up just jumping right through and being able to pick off anybody that is, say, camping that window. Free loot may as well, you know. Now, another building of focus, there's a bunch of these types of buildings around the map. These were previously gun stores, but they're not like bookstores within the new version of Verdansk. Now, these players usually camp up on the second story, right? Or if it's worst case scenario, that rooftop, which is harder to access. But in this particular area, not so much, obviously, because you end up having this rooftop you can get up on top of rather easily. But the big one that always stands out to me with these types of buildings are across from Superstore, right at that gas station. There's another one of these, a bookstore at a gas station, kind of weird. But anyways, there's a couple of different ways you can break this. Of course, you don't really want to go up like this. 
in that one singular choke point that everybody's gonna know. That's just not the best way to do it. So what you can do is a combination of a little bit of a jump or a drop, depending on which way you wanna take it. If you end up wanting to get into the second story here, you can end up doing a nice little finesse move here and just jump right into it so that if somebody's camping that doorway or camping this right here, they're not going to expect you. Now, again, coming from the top side here, you can once again do this sort of little jump and drop down rather. This one's a little tougher because it ends up having that little lip on it as well, like right here. So if you can't get that because of that lip, you can end up coming over to the other side, which again, not many people will really expect. All you gotta do is give that, that light touch, you jump in, and then bam, usually this door will be closed. So again, they won't have any idea until you bust through, or if you wanna peek through, that's great as well. So to me, probably one of the worst buildings to try and break are these ones right here. These what were previously like libraries slash bars. These are incredible pains because people will camp up top here. And if you go in through the building itself, the only way to actually get up to this second story is by this staircase. Again, we're talking about, it's a common theme. One way angles really when it comes to these buildings but the nice part is that most of these do have counters though they're not really seen a lot of the times so in this particular instance here this one in what is called carnage town to my friends i don't know why a lot of the carnage guys just always landed here at the beginning but this town whatever it is across from hangers here has a couple of different outplay locations you can end up getting you got to get a nice little strafe jump here going in which you can do this and cut shoot and immediately grab and then get up on top here where you can either enter in from this location or or you can end up either going around and getting the hot flank here and getting this side as well, where people will camp in bar, they'll camp in this corner here, wherever they may be, but it allows you that extra location to be able to take them out. Now, as for this particular location, there's a secondary breach location as well, which all you have to do is come over into this two-story, come up into the attic, Take a little jump up here, as we'll talk about a couple of times in this video, that these little shelves are, they're godsends for trying to get outflank maneuvers and everything going. But all you gotta do is take a little quick jump here, get on the rooftop. You can make the jump from here if you want to, but to play it safe, this little smokestack chimney absolutely will afford you the ability to get there as well. In which all you gotta do is that same thing, and then boom, you're here right again. You don't have to take any unnecessary risk by pushing up that staircase. You're good to go. Now, another one of these buildings, super irritating to break if you're trying to go up the stairs. So how do you do it otherwise? Well, on this side, you can end up doing this just simply by the awnings. And this one's kind of easy. Jump up on this awning, take the next one. And then all you got to do is just quickly mount here and then just be careful on, on the outside. And you're going to be good to go once you get moving and grooving. Then enter from here. You're good. Or if you really want to flank around, you can do it this way. And again, that's open as well. Now, what about this side? You want to attack it a little bit more head on. This one actually has a nice jump up spot as well. You jump on top of this car, jump on top of the sign, assuming you don't miss it like I do, jump on top of the sign. And then just from here, it's a simple quick mantle. Again, you can enter from this side or jump on over to this side and you can enter from here. For this one here in Promenade West, all you gotta do is make a quick couple of jumps and then you're good to go. This one is actually really simple. Make sure you're going from this ledge here. I think it does make a difference, but just then a quick little strafe jump. And then from there, you should be good to go. I just didn't wanna make sure tax sprint knocked me off or anything, but then you can enter from this, uh, this way or you can end up breaking from this way as well as per normal. The only one that I think will give you a little bit of problems is this one, just because, well, there's no actual jump up spot that you can see from the outside, but it's also surrounded by two taller buildings. So I think that's the intended counterplay with that is you can end up getting up on top of the rooftops here and then making a simple jump over and then otherwise you're good to go. For that one, all you gotta do is just jump up here, make a quick little jump and then you're good to go. Okay, so another one that I absolutely love are these sort of tin buildings that you'll find all across the map. There's actually a bunch out this way. There's one uh, here. There's another one over there, I believe. And then out in the distance, there's one as well in that little town. These are phenomenal for little jump up spots. Obviously, this one's pretty easy if you want to gain a nice vantage point, get on the roof. This one's real simple, real easy there. But the other ones, they're a little bit disconnected. You don't have this every single time. So to give you that sort of uh, jump up perspective with it, we'll jump over to this one that doesn't have that easy access. Now, each of these do pose kind of their own unique perspective to how they are presented. These ones have, of course, these boxes you can jump up on. The one over there does not. That one over there has that rooftop. So what we can end up doing is taking a quick little jump jump here, 
jumping here, jumping here onto the rooftop. And then this one is a little bit of a kind of strafe jump. You can end up making it a little bit easier on yourself if you want to jump up on top of these. And then you can just jump up on this rooftop. Gives you some nice cover here. And if you're not somebody that is usually scanning rooftops, if you're somebody that's crossing the field here, you're not ever going to see that. You're not going to ever look here. So it's a nice little beam perspective where you can take somebody out real quick and simple. Now, again, kind of coming to this one here, this one doesn't have anything around it that makes it super... I guess, unique in which you end up having jump up spots, right? Like this one looks a little bit tougher. There's no entry point immediately to right here, or at least so it seems. There's nothing that really helps you out in terms of windows. You can maybe jump out of this and jump here. But one really nice one that I like here with this is this quick little jump up spot that absolutely helps you out. You're on this little secondary shelf. All you've got to do is take a little bit of a jump and then you're right here again. And you have this huge open area that players will have to cross if you're over here and there's not much cover. Plus you have that height advantage to them. So you absolutely have the benefit of the doubt here when it comes to this engagement. Now, coming back to it again, this is the same build and design that we saw with those other ones, but it's got some different unique attributes around the outside here. For this one, you can take this jump up and again, just take that quick little jump and then you're up on top. Same thing, I guess, realistically, you could probably do this here, jump out on top there, just real quickly, nice little jump up and you're square. Now, when it comes to these buildings, these are all around Verdansk, but you'll probably see people camping the second store because it's usually a little tougher to access because again, one, one singular choke point, one funnel point, and you have to come up these stairs and people can end up mounting this, they can mount that, they can be in that dark corner there, and it just becomes overall kind of a pain to do. That is unless you know another jump spot. First, you got to take on this ledge here. Then you make a quick little jump up. You can see everybody at the top of the staircase. And if you really want to, you can end up making a little flank route as well, either on this side or you can do the same thing on this side as well. You just need to break through the glass here and you're good to go. The key, though, that you want to make sure that you know what side you're going on is this side right here. Whenever you end up seeing this little shelf, that's when you know you're good. And this can apply for any of these sort of buildings across the map. There's multiple of them and players love to camp in them. So it's absolutely something you want to master now my squad usually lands either superstore or like hangers this side over here but one thing that always comes back to kind of haunt us is a team that usually will camp like fire or like in here this sort of karst resembling building one thing that is nice about verdansk 84 is they opened it up a little bit more previously that was closed off that was closed off this was still wide open though but now that this opens up more options that you can end up flanking so that you can end up getting up to those locations without anybody really anticipating it and not just that one, this is much more useful than it was before. So for this, there's not really anywhere that you can really think, okay, I can get up there by its own because like this sort of jump doesn't work. You're just shy. You can't quite mantle up on top of here to end up making that jump as well. But as strange as it may seem, this is your intended target. This little fire hose connector, this you can end up standing up on top of, make a quick little jump onto this awning you end up having access then to right here players may not expect that players may be waiting like right here right here for players to walk through that doorway but if you keep going you can take this a step further you jump onto this little awning then it looks like you have nowhere to go but that's actually where you're wrong you come over to this red piece here you jump up and you have access once again to either this little entryway here people will maybe be camping right here or like right here watching this entry or that entry or you can end up going over to here, making a quick little jump, and then boom, you have the flank on anybody that's over here or right here. Again, if you're camping up here, you're usually not going to expect somebody with a two-story drop here or second-story drop for somebody to come right here. So it's a nice little power position that allows you to jump up and gain some advantage and some footing on players that may not be expecting it. A very easy one that was added in with Verdansk 84 in particular is one with this fire station right here. This still poses a tricky question where how do you take these people out up on top, but if they're camping second story or rooftop, this makes it way easier because now all you gotta do is make a quick little jump, you have access to the rooftop. Or if you really want to, you can come all the way over here, drop in, and then you have a nice little jump on anybody that's camping up top here. But if you don't want to go that route, you want to end up taking a different surprise maybe they're watching this doorway for some reason you can end up always doing the same thing here what you can do you can make a quick little jump up here angle yourself right and then jump and you're in pop 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 wherever they may be you got them. Now, COP is a building that has had a ton of adjustments here at 1984's Verdansk. You didn't have this window beforehand. You didn't have the back room upstairs. I couldn't remember who was downstairs or upstairs. You didn't have this that opened up a little further. 
and then also this room that was entirely added that's brand new. So these help out greatly, but one of the things that can really help is that if there's somebody that's camping up on this rooftop, you can't quite get to them because again, there still only is two choke points with this. You have this ladder right there and then the ladder there. If you still can't end up getting that one person up there, they're watching this ladder and that one. What you can do is take a little bit of a route that not many will expect. You place down a barricade here, jump up on top, and boom, you end up having that ability to jump up. So that's something that is incredibly helpful. Again, not many players, if they're not experienced, will even know to look for that. So you end up having that quick little jump up spot that allows you a little bit more to afford yourself some accessibility. Okay, so for this next bit, I want to talk about some of these buildings that you'll encounter around the map, a lot of times in farms, a lot of the times in just outlying areas. This one in particular is one that I ended up getting caught in, not a pinch, but something that made me use these skills and these jump spots to get out of a situation where it wasn't necessarily the easiest win of situations. So a lot of the times you'll end up having the ability to, one, get on the roof to, of course, give yourself more cover than you may not naturally have. Others you may experience people camping in this upper portion here because again as we've talked about these are single choke point lanes these buildings are all across the map so this is great to carry into any engagement that you may have this but again it's oftentimes going to be the same thing somebody camping right here somebody camping right here watching the staircase so how do you end up entering here so that you don't go in this one choke point that is the most recognizable and predictable well for this one and a lot of times you'll end up having different environmental pieces that really can help you out this one is very simple all you got to do is just jump up on either the hay bales here or again this little barrel you're gonna have to maybe get it down to a science because a lot of times it does do that auto mantle where you're going to have that immediate jump over so you need to time your jump a little bit properly maybe but from here you can end up getting up on top of the roof and again in the situation that i had in the gameplay that may have gone up on the channel already there was a team of four pushing me i was the last alive and i was just being able to beam them off of either the head glitch here on this rock here they were trying to res here i got some cleanups and everything like that but then i of course didn't take it because it just was an unbeatable situation so i went recentered and was able to regain some composure but this again allowing you to be in a nice little head glitch that otherwise players are out in the open they're stuck but if you want to break and breach here this second story all you got to do is just jump down onto this little lip here and then from here you can end up picking off somebody that's usually camping in that corner there or if they're still like over here a little bit more or even right on the other side of this wall you can just make this quick little jump tag them here tag them there and they're usually not going to be watching that so it's a huge jump up spot to know now when it comes to these buildings the sort of wider double stories these get a little bit tougher because a lot of the times you're not going to have that simple to access rooftop or jump in spot but a lot of them will also have something even if they're not necessarily the most recognizable up front like these they don't have any sort of shelves that you can jump onto right You'll see on the other side here, nothing there that you can really grab onto, but you can end up still applying the same principles. Getting up on top of this fence here, running around, getting on top of this rooftop, but from here, where do you go? Because again, you'll either see people camping right underneath here, on this end, watching the staircase right here, and all you have to do is just take a quick little second. You can even jump down... Okay, that one is a little bit busted. A lot of those you actually can stand on. That one is just on me. But all you have to do, line it up, drop down and you're in you can pick off somebody here pick off somebody there there wherever it may be and not take that one choke point of that staircase now a lot of these you'll see that they don't really have a whole lot but usually each building will have one specific piece that allows you to get on the rooftop or something like that that makes this jump possible for this one it's these barrels right here all you got to do is jump up on this make a little strafe jump here get up on top of the rooftop and then again all you got to do is line it up real nice and easy like drop down and you're in now these sort of two-story buildings they're going to be all around the map and as we mentioned those awnings they're on basically every single one of them so this is a fantastic way that you can break these without having to go again in that choke point on basically every building like this all you have to do is come up onto the roof here real quickly just drop onto it here and then bada bing bada boom you got a guy camping right there he's dead he's dead in this corner he's dead there you get a nice little just quick jump spot and again this works for almost every single two-story around the map now these buildings are all around verdansk as well you're gonna see a lot of people usually camping up here if you're pinched in the locations either here i think there's one over right here is another one you'll see one that there's out here there's a couple all around the map but again if somebody's camping up top that makes it really easy for them to pick you off if you go this way 
But what you can do, you might know this from Ground War, this is a little tip as well within Modern Warfare MP. You can end up going up on top of here, jumping up on top of this ledge, going here. And then what do you know? You just drop down and you got them covered. A little extra bonus here that I like out of... A little extra bonus here is when people are camping in pool here. Not necessarily on top pool because there's not a whole lot you can do at that point. Unless you end up taking them out from fire or you maybe try and pull something off from hotel. Because there's only one singular way up top here. But that is unfortunately a huge choke point. But if somebody's camping lower where they're watching the staircases or anything like that, you can end up actually taking them out without not many people really ever expecting you. What you can end up doing here is taking a look, dropping down. This won't kill you, but gives you nice access to the same level that they would be on and a lot of the times they're watching that doorway that doorway or this staircase right here so it's a nice little flank route that isn't necessarily a jump spot up or anything like that but it's a way to use the environment to your advantage so that they don't necessarily expect where you're coming from but as we mentioned in this video, that is kind of where we're at here at this. Again, approaching the 20 minute mark, maybe over it now by this point during editing. I don't want to keep you guys too long. There's still so much more to talk about, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below if it helped you out in any way, shape, or form, or if you just had a good time watching it, drop a like. If you guys also want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty, Warzone, Black Ops Cold War, anything relating to it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected outside of YouTube, probably live on both those. So if you guys want to start a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace